So let's go back and get that statue. That's what it's for, anyway. Now, in a range mode, unfortunately, there's actually three holes, and there's only one statue. So no matter what, in a range mode, you will get choked a couple times. So you want to come through this hole as little as possible in a range mode. But in this mode, it's perfectly fine. Oh, a little too far right there. I want to go over just a little more. Yep, we are good. Alright, so I'm going to go in this first room right here, because it's actually a save room. Got some nice stuff. There's a first aid spray right there. I'm not gonna grab that though. Instead, I will grab these explosive rounds though. Alright, go ahead and store them. Combine them. In a shitty way. Alright, so I'm not gonna need that crank for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and store that. Uh, these herbs I don't need. I'll take one of them with me, just in case. Although, I'm pretty sure I... Ah, uh, no, no, I don't need it. Okay. Um... I'm good with my handgun for now. There's no other key items that I need at the moment, so... Alright, so... I'm actually gonna do an. I'm gonna try to save right now just to show you an example of saving. And this is a good place to save since it's like the next major part of the game. So, do that real quick. And also get to find out if I can save like this. I can save my progress with this. Use the ink ribbon, yes. Yeah, I can save apparently on here. So, nice. Alrighty, so if I die, this is where I'll be... This is where I'll have to restart. Alright. So now let's put the ink ribbon away. It's nice to know I can... I, I, it's nice to know I can save. Alright, so let's go. Let's proceed. I'm not gonna end it just yet. I have an exact spot where I'll want to stop for now. I could do a little more. Alright, so let's go to this next room right here. Oh, there's a zombie in here. I can't see! Oh shit, there's two. Yeah, the original soundtrack is much better in this room, seriously. It's a classic theme. This is not. Alright. Alright. Yeah, go figure. It's more shotgun shells. This is what I'm saying. You're, with all these shotgun shells, I'm gonna have a lot of cartridges near the end of the game, since I don't use the shotgun that much when I play this game. At least on Jill's scenario. <laughs> Alright. Uh, actually, no, there's something over here. Uh, it's a book. And this is actually a key item. And this is an example of, so of checking something to reveal something. All the pages are blank, what's it for? So that didn't necessarily need to happen, but it did change the description, so it's a blank book now. And over here, is there anything? No? For Chris, there would be another small key right there. Just saying. Alright, so let me go in this bathroom real quick. I think there might be a zombie in here. No, no there isn't. Alright, let's drain this tub. I actually think it's... it's, uh... key. Oh yeah, it's definitely... 
Alright, the serum key. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it's necessary. Alright, All right. it is key that you go in here. Alright, next place. Alright, so these big red doors, I don't think it's necessary to go into that room in original mode, but I'm gonna go in there anyway just to show you around and introduce you to a new enemy that I'm gonna try to avoid, so I'm risking my neck here. That's the damn spiders. Right. Fuck! Okay. So there's an egg ribbon right there. Don't need it, but there is a clip here, so it was necessary for me to come in here. Alright, these things are pretty easy to avoid. Whoa. That was close, though. But this room is necessary for learning how to solve a later puzzle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you right now. It's broken. <laughs> Alright, so there's a pull table over here. It just shows you random balls. Whoa. Okay, so over here is where you learn the puzzle. It looks like a clock dial. Three, four, five. Some kind of code. So you have to memorize that sequence. Three, four, five. And I it changes depending on the game mode and who you're using. So don't rely on it being three, four, five if you play this game. So check that if you want to know the code. And for this playthrough, it, it is going to be necessary. Why are those transparent? These cue sticks are textured, so something must happen with them. But I'm going to reveal right now, uh, I don't know what's supposed to happen here. I've never triggered whatever is supposed to move that. So, I don't know what to do here. I Now that I see that, I'm curious to what the hell you're supposed to do to trigger whatever cutscene or something, or trigger whatever event that can occur that moves those sticks, because those are obviously able to be moved. So, hopefully, maybe someone in the comments can tell me, someone who knows can tell me how to trigger whatever's supposed to happen here, because, yeah, those are obviously able to be moved. I could, I could try to find out right now, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. Okay, I need to get out of here. I mean, something's obviously supposed to happen. I, I actually want you guys to tell me, if any of you know out there, tell me what's supposed to happen with those cues. I could look it up online, but... Why not ask right now while I can? Alright, let's continue. We wasted enough time there. Alright, now we got the silent hallway. Uh, I'm gonna go quickly go in here real quick, just to unlock this room. Or actually, to get this key. Now this room is creepy as hell, and it's 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 dangerous because there's a very unique enemy here that's only in this room. It's locked. It's a panel with number keys. So this is where that code comes in. Three, four, five. Now, you could figure this puzzle out yourself without that code. There's a certain pattern that it follows. Maybe next playthrough I'll try to I'll try to not use the code. All right. All right. So this room is very specific to something. This is where you would create a chemical of some sort in order to weaken an upcoming boss to make the fight much easier. Now, I, I, feel, I actually think right now I'm an unable to do it. Because, uh, let me see here. I could t take these empty bottles right now, but I'm not going to. Um, let me see here. Yeah, usually it would tell me that I could do something right here, but it's not letting me see it. So, I can't, I am incapable of making this chemical right now because what I have to do is read a file first. I have to read a file first in order to make this. So, I don't want to do that.
Yeah, it would it would usually say there is a UMB number four right here, but it's not doing it, so I can't do it. And these codes on the wall, it it's supposed to help you out with the whole sequence that you have to do. So I'll go through it later because I will be back here to make the chemical I need. I was just trying to see if I could actually make it right then and there, but I can't. So, all right. So now to get this key and show you this specific enemy in this room. So this is where you have to act fast, because there's a giant hornet's nest right there. You gotta grab this key and then quickly turn around and get out of the room, because they'll get you. And they don't do any damage to you really, but they do poison you, so it counts. <laughs> Alright, um, I really hope to god a specific thing happens right now. There's supposed to be a cutscene that I'm about to trigger. If there isn't, then I fucked up in the way I wanted to play this game, and I'm gonna have to compromise in the next playthrough. But, I'll show you what's over here real quick. Push the statue over to get over here, and there's some more green herbs right there. I'm not gonna need them right now, though. Nice. I needed that. It can't be true. I've been told a different story. But it's not necessary for you to destroy stars. Destroy stars? What about my family? This theme sounds like Twinkle Twinkle so a little bit. everything depends on me, huh? It's bad the other person is muffled, so you can't really see. You can't really hear. But Alright, unlock this door because... Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot about that. So, I would have checked this key right there, you see it's 002, and it would have changed the name to uh, 002 key. So, I forgot to do that, but I told you right there, so it's okay. So, that's the door unlocked, because obviously that is room 002, as you can see up there. Alright, so let's go into this room and investigate what just happened. Oh, Barry. Hi, Jill. Uh, hi, Barry. I, I heard someone talking. So you heard it too. I think I'm getting old. It seems that talking to myself is becoming a habit. Talking to yourself? Barry, something must have happened to you. Am I wrong? You sound strange. Well, it seems I made you worry. But don't. Maybe I have been a nervous wreck since all of these strange things started happening. Well, I think I'll go out and get some fresh air for a change. I told you, don't worry. I'll just go and get some fresh air and be eaten by a monster. <laughs> suspicious. Alright, it's in this desk. I believe it's another shotgun shell. That called it. <laughs> Alrighty, what do we got here? Oh, we got another file. Plant 42 report. Alrighty then. So the Plant 42 is going to be the next boss that I face. So just so you know. And we got a dormitory map. A dormitory map. Oh, so once again, this is a whole new area. This is the guardhouse. And this is only the first floor. Does it show the basement? Yes, it does. All right. Which I will be going into coming up. But first I want to go into this bathroom. We got a zombie. In All right, so nothing in that tub, but there is something in the sink. Right, another clip, sweet. All right, we're doing great. All right, now let's go and do this thing I was talking about earlier. Move these 
bookcases to reveal this ladder over here. Get over there. Alright, we got a ladder. This is the first ladder of the game, and it introduced a very scary sequence. Going down or up a ladder. 